Hello, in this short video, I will show you how to use the new Facebook Live and YouTube Live feature that was just released on BigMarker. This feature allows you to stream the content of your webinar directly to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. To use this feature, just create a webinar. That's a normal one-time live webinar. Once the webinar is created, click on the edit section. Then go to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. In here, you will have the two options of to enable Facebook Live or YouTube Live. In this case, both are enabled. And you can then enter the server URL and the streaming keys from those two platforms. To get the streaming keys and server URL from Facebook Live, just go to facebook.com. Go to the group that you want to face, uh, you want to stream to, or your um, personal timeline. In the post posting section, there is a live video button. button. Just click on this button and um, you have the two options, just stream your video directly, or you can click the connect. The connect is what we need. In here, you will be able to get those two uh, parameters. So two things to note. One is make sure the use secure connection is turned off. And then um, uh, for for some people, you might want to use this um, to use a persistent key if you want this to be always the same. Otherwise, it would generate a new key every time you do a new stream. These two are entered in here right now. You just copy and paste that into these two fields. For YouTube Live, it's very similar. Go to youtube.com, get to go to live dashboard. And here, in the encoder setup, you will have the server URL and um, the stream name key. And you will get those two fields and enter them into the YouTube Live section. Once that's entered, you can enter the webinar and uh, start streaming. As a quick example, I'm gonna turn on my camera and now I am streaming to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. So once that's started, this is Facebook. You can see in the event log, there's one is live video. They receive the video signal. And after the video signal is received, it will take a few more seconds before the video actually shows up. So now the video is starting to load. It's gonna take some time. And now they just showed up. So that's it, very simple.